Grams. Hello, I'm Grams. Join me as we explore fun places, interesting characters, and never boring stories. Are you ready? Then let's go. Today's book is Very Good Hats, written by Emma Straub. In this story, we learn about all the interesting things that can be hats. Let's see what happens. Do you know what a hat is? I bet you think you know what a hat is. Some people think hats are fancy things you can buy at a haberdashery. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Acorns make snug hats for your fingers. Raspberries, chewed up gum, tortellini, and doll shoes work too. An empty pudding cup makes a good hat for a stuffed bear. <laughs> Cats and other small furry creatures are good hats in wintertime. Hardcover books are nicely dramatic hats, if you have excellent posture. Paperback books are floppier than a soggy beret. Bubbles make very fine hats, if temporary. A crown is a hat for a queen, but flowers can be too. The roof is the house's hat. And a lid is a pot's hat. Everyone knows that. Pajama pants make for a dangly hat. And towels are twirly hats, majestic as a unicorn. Some hats come with the job. Empty bowls work, but you have to make sure they're empty first. Otherwise, you might have a soup hat instead. Some of the best hats come from grandparents. If you're in an airplane, you get to wear a cloud. If you're on a scooter, you have two hats, your helmet and the wind. At the baseball stadium, hats are filled with ice cream. You can make a mummy hat out of toilet paper, but the cat will try to eat you. If a turtle can tuck its head into its shell, does that make its shell a hat? Some hats are just falling leaves. You see, hats are everywhere you look. Anything can be a hat if you believe it is. See you soon on... Kyla's Cramps!